Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Josh from Beyond the Feet, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing the Brooks Ghost 13 to the Ghost 12. We're going to explain what the differences are, who these shoes are for, and which one's worth buying. Let's jump into it. So the Brooks Ghost 13 is for a neutral runner, someone with a medium to high arch and doesn't need too much stability on the inside of the foot. If you roll out or stay quite straight throughout the whole step, this shoe is going to work quite well. If you get a little bit lazy, it's going to work quite well also. Pretty much for someone who wants to do 5Ks all the way up to a marathon, it will do that. It's not going to be the fastest shoe, but it is that workhorse, you're going to get heaps of Ks out of it. and bang for buck it's an awesome shoe so first off looking at the outsole between the 13 and the 12 same outsole they haven't changed a whole lot quite a basic rubber and it does work quite nicely nice and durable you're going to be looking about a thousand k's out of both shoes plenty of flex screws in the forefoot area and also that flex screw running down the lateral side which does create that nice forefoot toe off pretty much so nice and smooth transition from your heel to your forefoot it's going to be quite smooth without feeling like you're going to be slapping down and hitting the ground too hard so it's quite comfortable the rubber is quite durable it's not too spongy underneath but it is enough that's going to grip the ground quite well and still give you that nice durability no matter kind of if you're running on the road the pavement or the grass don't go trail running in it it's a road shoe yeah moving on the biggest difference between the Ghost 13 to the 12, or pretty much the only difference, is the midsole components. So they've gone for a co-molded EVA cushioning system in your 13 as opposed to the 12 which just has that one unit with your crash pad and a bit of adhesive. Pretty much what co-molded means, you're dropping out a lot of the glue in the shoe which makes it slightly lighter and kind of less areas for the shoe to go wrong. So with the Ghost 13 we got that DNA loft cushioning running down the lateral side of the shoe then co-molded in with a Biomogo. So it's that nice soft cushioning system that they do use in the glycerin but they use a full length in the glycerin where in the Ghost they just used it on half the shoe. So it works quite nicely, pretty much dropping out a lot of the weight in comparison to the 12. Uh, just less glue there, less things to go wrong as I said earlier. Still using that crash pad underneath, just it's a lot more simplistic, it works quite nicely. So when you first heel strike or midfoot strike in the shoe, it's going to be a nice transition through to your forefoot. The Ghost 13 and the Ghost 12 pretty much were known for that nice soft plush feel but still gave you that nice responsiveness without sinking too much into the shoe so I mean yeah they're gonna pretty much still feel the same it's just that the 13s are probably gonna be slightly more durable and as a result they're also 10 grams lighter. The upper on the Ghost 13 to the 12 they're pretty much the same you got that full engineered mesh wrapping around the whole thing Plenty of cushioning both on the tongue and the collar of both shoes and your heel counter locks you in great as the Ghost does. So fit and feel wise, they both work really awesome whether you kind of have a, a wide foot, a narrow foot, um, something that needs a lot more volume across the midfoot area. They do accommodate in plenty of different widths. They come in like four different widths both for the men and the women. So make sure you check that out as well. In terms of the upper fit and feel, it just it wraps around the foot really nicely. It is definitely one of those kind of thicker uppers, however it is quite breathable. So if you're used to like maybe an old school Peggy, uh, this is going to feel like a lot more on the foot, but if you've been in like a Triumph, this is going to feel a bit lighter. So it's that nice happy medium upper, wraps around the foot nicely and Brooks pretty much nailed that on the head every time. Comparison to your 13 and your 12, the only difference I can see with that forefoot, they did kind of double up that 12, just on that toe area where people normally put their toe through, they gave that little bit more reinforcement. Whether that worked or not is another thing, it's probably just more for aesthetics and just a selling point. Um, the 13s are still going to be quite durable around that toe box area, there's just nothing physically there that you can see that's going to kind of give that reinforcement as such. But yeah. Both a great shoe, coming in at that $220 Australian, you, yeah, they work quite well, you're looking about 1000 Ks, that great workhorse, whether you want something you hit the gym with, they're still going to be quite nicely, or run that 5k all the way up to that marathon, if you're not trying to go too fast. Any more questions about these two shoes, uh, we do have some comparisons coming up quite shortly, so stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you let us know in the comments if you want to know anything else, smash that subscribe, hit the like, and uh, we'll see you next time.